Let's go to the tail of the tape, John, for this 205 pound encounter. Very simply put, you can see the length and size of Carl Obrick's six foot two to maybe five foot 11. I'm not giving Grant Neal that, but Grant Neal incredibly strong. Here's Michael C. Williams. For all those joining us tonight live on YouTube at Bellator MMA and Showtime Sports, we welcome you to Southern California, kicking off 2023 here with the 290 prelims. Here we go now, three five minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing the blue corner at six foot two, weighing in 205.2 pounds. He is professional record, 13 wins, four losses, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden King, Carho Albrechtsson. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner, at 5 foot 11, weighing in 205.2 pounds. As a professional, he's near perfect at seven and one. He fights out of Denver, Colorado, Grant the Truth Neal. And your referee in charge, Blake Rice. Grant Neal looking to build on his last victory over Christian Edwards at Bellator 278, right, while Carl, Albrechtson, he hopes to Grant, bounce back from a Fight. submission loss to Carl Moore at Bellator 285 last September via second round face crank, fell into a deep depression after that loss and exacerbated by, of course, online trolls, but has been working with a you know mental coach and just trying to really focus because the mental game is so important in fighting, John, as we both know, and, and here he is now coming back off a loss against Grant Neal, who obviously off to a good start here. Off to a great start in Bellator, and look, he's had one loss, it was a split decision. Grant Neal is a good wrestler. He's got heavy hands. Now, the one thing is, he doesn't have that length, but he can get inside, and here he goes, trying to take Albrechtson down. And this was the question, because Albrechtson is a much better wrestler than people give him credit for. His wrestling is outstanding. He's wrestled with guys, even that he's fought, you know, guys like Phil Davis and stuff. He can keep Grant Neal working hard, and he wants to do that in these types of situations. He wants Grant to try to take me down, work hard, and I want him to get tired. Neal, two-time Colorado State wrestling champion in high school, and he said wrestling isn't fun, but getting your hand raised is, and that's why he excelled at the sport. He's always been an extremely competitive person and now they break and back in the center of the cage the jab from Albrechtson there's a counter inside low kick by Albrechtson as Neil flashed the jab Ooh, stinging calf kick to the outside there by Albrechtson that was very nice and look Albrechtson like we said his wrestling and his ground game especially if he takes his opponent down in the top position, this guy does incredible ground and pound. So Grant Neal needs to use that wrestling that he has to also stay on his feet if Albrechtson decides to bring him down. There's the youngest ever UFC heavyweight champion, catch wrestling specialist, pro wrestling star Josh Barnett who's in the corner of Carl Albrechtson, my broadcast partner when we used to call New Japan pro wrestling back in the day. Josh Barnett is an awesome, awesome individual. You talk about an encyclopedia when it comes to both MMA and wrestling. Yeah. Sharp jab from Neil. Nice job on the check by Neil, though. You saw that kick by Albrechtson. Neil did a nice job not just eating it. He needs to continue to do that. If Albrechtson brings that kick in, he's got to check those kicks. Don't let him eat up that leg. Again, Albrechtson chopping away at the lead leg of Neil. That again checked by Grant Neal. Nice heavy low kick by Grant Neal. Albrechtson fast flashing the jab and then counter left hook though when they close the distance by Neal. Neal changes levels, looking for the takedown on Albrechtson, drives him to the fence, well defended by the Swede. I believe he's got his hands together. He Very scooped nice, up yeah. and there it is. You get those hands together and you get them underneath those hips, 
you have got complete control of your opponent if you know what you're doing. Granville bringing him down, trying to keep him there. Can he do it? Yeah, Albertson going to try to wall walk. Is posted up and trying to deliver some. Uh, is delivering some short strikes as his wrist now being controlled by Neil momentarily. What Neil's trying to do is he's reaching out with that right hand to try to bring the left hand of Albertson to his to his left hand so he can control that side. He's just unable to do it at this time. Sixty seconds left in the first round. Neil with the takedown along the fence. Albrechtson trying to shift his positioning and his weight using that left hand to post, but Neil keeps controlling him there and now comes over the top with a series of right hands. Well, that nice little figure four you're seeing with his legs controlling the left leg of Albrechtson. That's what's keeping Albrechtson from getting up right now. But Grant needs to bring his head up higher. Don't allow him to push your head down towards the canvas. Get your head up high. Big knee to the back of Albrechtson's everything, left leg. Everything Grant throws has steam on it. Albrechtson back up to his feet as time will expire here in round number one. All right, here we go. Round two, you ready? Round two, you ready? Fight. Bell round at number two. Jacob Ramos in Grant Neal's corner. Very pleased with Neal's handiwork in that opening round. Neal flashes the jab inside, low kick to the lead leg by Albrechtson. Good feints by Neal and Ramos. Oh, nice right hand over the top by Albrechtson. And John uh, Ramos talked that, you know, Albrechtson now would be leery because of that successful takedown in that round and maybe bite down on some of these fakes. Yeah, well, he's looking for him to drop those hands to help defend the wrestling takedown. And the real question is, Albrechtson's got a good jab, but he needs to utilize it more. He can keep Grant Neal off to the end of that punch. Just pop that jab more and more. A minute as a lap here in the second stands up. There's a attempt at the left hand there that just missed on Albrechtson. Little sneaky uppercut by Albrechtson. Mm, I saw that nice chopping right hand by Albrechtson. Neil's corner, happy with his mix, as they say. And there, the exchange. That was a nice, clean shot by Albertson. Landed clean. And the big difference is what Neil needs to do is he wants to get back towards that wrestling, but he's got to use his hands to get into that wrestling scenario. And that's what his corner was talking about. You were doing those things right. We want to see you do it again. The question is, right now, with him going backwards, it makes it a little difficult. Double jab by Albertson. Again, the long jab, the level change, entry by Neal, takedown secured, and again at the fence, and again using the figure four to lock down the legs. And this time on the figure four, he's got both legs. Yep. That is a la Khabib right there. And he's looking to feed that hand. See how he's reaching over towards getting that left hand. He wants to feed that to his left hand. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. You see how that head comes up? If that head comes up, it opens everything up as far as you being able to attack your opponent. If your head's down, you can't punch with any power. Speaking of Abib Nurmagomedov, they're also looking to maybe snatch those wrist rights known as the Dagestani handcuffs. But now it's uh, Albrechtson who's on one knee. And again, the knees from Neil. Albrechtson did a nice job of breaking the grip. Albrecht is in a yeah, two on one on that wizard. wrist. Very nice job. He's got a heavy wizard on that underhook of Grant Neal. Um, Neal on the escape there, lands a short left. That's a, that, that tells you a lot about the way Grant Neal's looking in this fight because he's saying, I'll break away to land that shot. Mm -hmm. Outs 
inside calf kick to the lead leg of Albertson by Neal again. Mixing up his offense. Nice movement slipping to the left and delivering the right hand by Neal and Albertson in range with the jab gets countered though by Neal. Albertson's hands a little low, looking to stab the body with the jab, but has to be careful. And you mentioned it, John, because of the wrestling acumen of Neal. Neal's court, oh, that was a chopping calf kick to the lead leg of Neal. Yeah, that one hurt. Yeah, and, and the reason being because Jacob, in uh, Neal's corner, Jacob Ramos wants him to feint that takedown, go over the top with the right hand. Yeah. Jake Ramos gave Grant Neal all the right information during that break in the, between the first and second, and he wanted him to continue on, but he's got to use his hands to set up that takedown. Jab, don't just go after the takedown, Raw Dog. And you, Albertson going for the kick there, and again, almost caught by Neal, which would have probably resulted in a takedown attempt. It wasn't fully committed, but again, there's that sneaky right uppercut by Albrechtson. It is, it's, and you know, it lands though. He doesn't have a ton of power on it, but it's landing. Final 15 seconds of the second round. Neal fainting, trying to open up an opportunity to counter. Stay right there, don't move. Nah, get back. I know, I'm getting back to. You ready? You ready? Fight. Third and final round. Uh, how do you have it on your unofficial scorecard? Yeah, I think this fight is even right now. I think both guys need to get after it in this round. I think Albrechtson got a little bit more comfortable with the range and using that left hand. We'll see if he can just amplify that in this round. Albertson looking to curl the lead left hook behind the guard of Neal. And Albertson pumping the jab, goes back downstairs with the outside calf kick to the lead leg of Neal. High guard by Neal. Neal changes levels, but stopped by Albertson. Very nice job by Albertson. That's what I'm talking about. Look, he's a good wrestler. And good slip of that punch, head movement, avoiding the shot by Neal. Got popped with the jab. Hot shot by Neal. Nice job by Neal to come inside, but he needs to come in with, don't stop on that one or that one two. It's always that three, four that's gonna end up doing more damage. Right hand by Neal. That was a nice little feint by Neal. A little feint like he's gonna kick. Oh. Caught Albrechtson kind of stiff and then landed the shot. Right cross there. Raised the chin of Neal by Albrechtson. Albrechtson just out of range though. In terms of when he does throw shots, still just a few just a little inches bit off. away, yeah. Oh, beautiful left hook to the body by Neal. And again, changes levels, looking for the single. He's to turn that corner on that, and now that the leg's down, it's not gonna be easy. Of course, Albertson looking to limp leg escape if possible, showing good balance, though, as again, he's backed up to the fence. But this time, still on his feet, double under hooks. Oh, but on the clinch, right uppercut. Short right uppercut by Neal on the inside. Beautiful, dirty boxing by Grant Neal there. Midway point of the third, and that was south of the border, but Neil says, let's carry on. And Neil fainting the entry, but telegraphing that shot. You see, that's what I was talking about. You want to set it up by using your hands. Don't, don't sit there with a feint of a punch and then think that you're going to get that takedown against someone like Albertson. He's too good at his wrestling. 
Albertson being credited with throwing twice as many strikes as Neil right now, but it's very close in terms of total connections with Albertson ahead 57-53 in terms of total strikes landed. It's Neil with two out of six in the takedown department. But Neil is 0 for 2 in the takedown department here in the final frame. Yeah, he's, he's trying to work his way inside. He's been looking at that opportunity to throw, throw a punch that's going to make Albrechtson bring his hands to a position where they're up, get into that dropping of levels into the legs. It's not happened so far. Nice right hand by Carl Albrechtson. Beautiful right hand by Albrechtson. You can see how the momentum of this fight has really changed more where Grant Neal was really in control in the early part of the first round throughout it and then into the second little bit. Now Albertson's starting to come and take over. Final minute of the final frame. Albertson using some footwork. Has a jab double pump from Neal trying to disrupt Albertson to land a bigger shot. Body kick by Albrechtson. Put himself off balance. Nice jab there by Grant Neal. Inside low kick by Neal, but it's the, the single digit. Both guys really need to try to put a cherry on top of this, make the judges realize I'm the guy going after this. I want to finish it. And in the final second, single leg attempt by Neal. Albrechtson defending along the fence, but he does get scooped up and drop right at the bell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, go to your three judges for your scorecards. Your first judge, Felisa O, oh, scores the fight 29-28. She sees the fight for Albrechtson. Your second judge, Chris Levin, 29-28, seeing the fight for Neil. Your third and final judge, Wade Vieira, 29-28, for the winner by split decision, Grant the Trump Neil. No Grant Neil makes it no two way. in a row and proves to eight and one, seven and one here in Bellator MMA.